too big for this t-shirt. Too big for every t-shirt, Meg. Massive. It's just my chest. <laughs> You've been filming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome back to YouTube. We have got a delt focused push session today with the Cybex Smith Machine incline press for the for the main lift of today. Kuba then goes on to some other bits. I go on to some other bits because obviously we I am a lady, Kuba is a man, we do slightly different setups because obviously we need different things to actually build upon. But yeah, we are just about to eat our third meal third meal, which is our pre-workout meal. It's pretty much exactly the same as each other's with salmon, rice and prawns, but obviously different volumes. Feeling good, feeling happy, feeling a little bit stressed. We actually went to our um, church rehearsal yesterday, didn't we? And we literally kept looking at each other and couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> so, so Saturday could be quite interesting. I think the Reverend was getting a little bit stressed at us. <laughs> just a little bit because we weren't being loud enough. We kept forgetting what to say. And we just kept laughing at each other. And then Cuba was being a man of... <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, no. It'll be a lovely day. And obviously, Ed is going to be there to actually capture some bits as well. So, you will be able to see some of Cuba and Smeg's wedding, um, where obviously we will become double barreled. So, that's the challenge, which will be nice. Um, so, yeah. That's what's going on this week. And I'm just about to sit down and finish off these admin bits that I've been doing because I'm firing through it. Feel good. MK coaching update. You want me to do the MK coaching update as well? I do. Okay, so we have an update. Actually, I went through it on my video, didn't I? But I will go through it again. So, we have added a new lifestyle coach to our team, which is Charlotte Hudson. Charlotte is amazing. Charlotte is one of Kuba's um, online coaching clients. She actually competed at quite a few shows this year didn't she she did yeah. the graftism and the arnold's did she do any more or was that it uh, but yeah anyway she placed very high in all of her shows placed at all of them looked ridiculous obviously back into off season now enjoying some good food looking forward to christmas and has joined our lifestyle team and um, she has a background in well dancing mainly which is quite nice because i used to dance so it's nice to speak to someone that that used to do the the same thing. She's a lovely person, just really Please down to though, earth. She's a dance teacher as well, so she's got she's got like the characteristics that we need for someone that that, that is very very nurturing and very patient. Because she did work with a lot of kids, which I'm not saying that we're going to work with kids. What I'm saying is lifestyle people generally need a lot of patience, a lot of nurturing, and Charlotte is amazing at that. Yeah. She's very, very patient and she's just great. She's so supportive. So she has got every quality that we look for in a coach as well. She's very hard working, so she's in. So yeah, so Charlotte's in and then we've also obviously got Scarlett who's a part of our team and has been for some time who's absolutely incredible, smashing it with all of her clients, supporting them, getting set up with things like... Um, training sessions with like team meets doing zoom calls like doing everything off her, her own back without us being on a tip but obviously with our support as well and yeah she's doing really well so mk coaching is going very well on obviously a competitive level with obviously me pretty much working with amateurs Kuba working with amateurs and, and pros and then obviously also our girls working with the lifestyle since i've come away mostly from that now just to focus solely on um competitors but yeah Things are going well. If you do obviously want to join our team, drop us either an email or a DM and we will get back to you. Just know that it is a very personalised, individualised service and you will get in more than what you expect, <laughs> which is what the majority of our clients say. So yeah, MK Elite is going well. If you want to join, drop us a message. What's the plan for on the wedding day? Usual mate, get up. Thing is, I don't have to be there till 12 o'clock. So, 
I'm gonna get up, do my cardio. I actually don't have my client call on this Saturday, and I'm probably not gonna be in the mind for doing it, because I'm probably gonna be a bit nervous. So I'm gonna get up, it's my usual time. Uh, probably do some cardio, jump in sauna for a bit. So Jay actually might be coming to do me a uh, massage as well. So it's pretty much like a, a spa day for me. I might even have a little nap. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm saving my hair as you can see, my beard and my tash to get done at the barbers. So I'll get that done probably tomorrow so it's not too, 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 uh, you know, too fresh for the wedding. You need to have a little bit rough. The bride likes it rough. And then my hair, my haircut. Not, uh, not what you're thinking. You people watching this. But we just had our rehearsal last night and it, it was pretty terrible. I was like, mate, I've watched loads of films where people get married and know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. I don't need to do this. I didn't say that really, but I did tell about the film bit. So, yeah. I don't know, man. What we're supposed to do is just like, it's like a waiting game. Ugh. It's like being on death row, innit? <laughs> so I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna get hanged at 12 o'clock in church in Pilly. You feel the same way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely got a short end of stick. I get to fill my morning with getting my hair done, my makeup done. Stuff your face with a breakfast from a hotel. That's not like it. I've got my, yeah, I've got well. my steak. <laughs> yeah, I bet. She won't have no steak. It's going to be full of bacon, sausage, egg, black pudding. She likes to be a black pudding, obviously. And pearly sausage. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Took it too far, then. Took it too far. Then. She's sticking too far. <laughs> I'm disgusted, I am disgusted with that kind of behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting married now. It's a PG Wedding's channel. Off. <laughs> Wedding's off. Story time with Ed. I need to read this one out to him. And to the people that was complaining about me waking up early, need to hear this as well. Like, this book, honestly, it's hard for me to like, read a book and be like, I want to read this, I want to sit here and just read this. And this book is the book that I've pretty much sat and nailed this morning. So, application of discipline, all right? Discipline starts waking up early, it really does. But that is just the beginning. You have to absolutely apply it to things beyond waking up early. It is working out every day, making yourself stronger, faster, and more flexible and healthier. It is eating right foods to fuel your system correctly. It is disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It is about having discipline to control your ego. It doesn't get so it doesn't get out of hand and control you. It is about treating people the way you would want to be treated. It is about doing the task you don't want to do but you know will help you. Discipline is about facing fears so you can conquer them. That is fucking strong. That hits me right in the feels that does. Honestly. <sighs> Shall, shall, shall we finish this chapter for him? Discipline means taking hard road, up the uphill road to do what is right for you and for others. So often the easy path calls us to be weak for that moment, to break down another time, to give in to desire and short-term gratification. Discipline will not allow that. Discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate a breakdown in will. Discipline can seem like your worst enemy, but in reality, it is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And it will put you on the path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. And most important, discipline will put you on the path to freedom. That is fucking deep. Serious. That is like... That hits me. That hits me hard. That really does. What's the, uh, what's the book called? It's called uh, Discipline Equals Freedom Field Manual by Jocko Wilkin. Willink. Basically, Jocko's book. It's uh, it's insane. I've been reading it. I've just had goosebumps all the way through because it's like I can relate to this so, so much. It's uh, it's immense. It really is. I love it. 
that is like the first book that I have ever, ever laid my hands on in my life. And I was like, really, really like getting goosebumps reading it and like reading some pages twice. It's that good. Yeah. So this is going to be like a daily read for now. And I'm probably going to read it a couple of times, I'm not going to lie, because it's that good. It really is. I've got um, a couple more books lined up, actually, after this one. But this one hits me right in the feels, honestly. Uh, one, of my friend, one, of, one of my friends, actually, Jay Ellensworth, right, when you speak to him, he's, uh, he's a very motivational man. And uh, some of the stuff in here, it's like stuff he's said to me before. But that's just the way he is. It's like it's literally like sat here talking to Jay. Um, it's mad, but I love this. It's uh, it's pretty pretty it's sick. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with this one. To be honest, there's a little uh, little uh, little thing here. Cuba's book club coming 2022. What? Cuba's book club coming 2022. Mate, I'm telling you, this book is the one. It's like, it's a lot of things that I would have preach and like preach my videos. And like reading it, the way it's laid out and the way he's talking about it, it's like, pff, hits me. I read it, I'm like, yeah. Almost makes you feel like you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. So I'll start getting up at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, that is, honestly, that is... Whoa! No! That is, that is proper good. What? Do you want to switch it off? No. What? Pillow? Yeah? I hate that. I hate that, honestly. Married life yeah, soon, mate. Pillows, honestly. I've been... Carry on. Backhand City. I like my pillars in order. Honey. The thing is, these sofas are so uncomfy as well. I want a corner sofa, you know, that pulls out so I can actually lay on it. She expects me to lay on this. You know. What, what, as, as, what, as was, he, he, what, what was he doing? Exactly, oh, no. and he's just literally, as soon as Ed walked through the door, he went, for some reason, when I get on that sofa, I can just conk straight out, but you know, it's too uncomfy, guys. No, no, no. It's comfy. Oh, it's oh. comfy. <laughs> right, no, it's comfy when I'm on it on my own. Yeah, so but it's not, not comfy. No, no, that's not how it works. I'm talking now. Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shh. Shh. Right? It's comfy when I'm on it. But you don't try and lay on it with her on it. No, it's not comfy. It feels like sitting in a one person car and trying to fit three people in it. It's Is not it going to work. Is that because of me or the surfer? Because of you. You're just too big. <laughs> Come on. Can't help being massive. Huge. Back's too wide. Let's go. Well, time to fix it. If it's going to do any highly thought out. Do you want to run us through while, uh, sorry, the warm ups that you guys go through for Bush? So, obviously, to make sure that we're ready for the heavy presses, because we tend to start the heavy, heavy presses quite early on in the session, obviously after one isolation exercise. To make sure that our joints and everything are ready, we have to prime our bodies to make sure that we are. So we do some kind of, some of like joint stabilisation mobility that we do. So obviously we do the internal and external rotation at 90 degrees with the, with the therabands. Um, we do some kind of overhead low light presses alongside having an, an extension to make sure that obviously the, the muscles around our intercostals are fully ready to obviously stabilise our bodies uh, for when we're doing the heavy press as well so that is what we do that is why we do it and that is time to crack up
did the Atlantis because it's a little bit harder, so it's a little bit less forgiving. Um, and the movement on the machine is just way smoother than the Atlantis as well, so better resistance profile. That's the only reason why we use it, just because it's a better made machine, sorry Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> no discounts anymore. Stride into the flex. Just because I'm a little bit too small for the for the leverage. We tried it, but I just can't get 
high enough with the seat. So we tried it with a little bit of a booster, but it was a bit too uneasy and I couldn't actually put the, my feet on the floor to be able to brake. So I just used this one. I actually really like this machine. I find it really difficult. Um, so building up little by little, uh, but things seem to be progressing well. So I really like this one compared to that one, especially the way that it moves and stuff. You're always on that damn phone, isn't it? I was texting. Thank <laughs> you. 
swear cut meals in. Love the beaten strawberries. Absolutely banging. Obviously the smaller the smaller one is makes. The old smakes. That's a beautiful strawberry that is. Same Does anyone else like strawberries? Mm -hmm. Comment below. How do you like your strawberries? Whole or chopped? I prefer mine. Chopped. Sliced. I feel like uh, when they aren't chopped, they don't really last very long, do they? I've got to watch anyway. Definitely a great session today. Uh, battling some of the progression out on the Silex Smith. But I'm going to stick with it because today I actually adjusted the setup slightly. I moved the bench slightly further forward, so it did feel a little bit harder, but it felt a lot better. So, still progression in my books if the movement was more challenging and I managed to actually adjust it to make it harder, uh, which is a benefit for me rather than negative. So, I always look at that as a positive, so we'll continue rinsing the setup for now. I think uh, it's a funny one, especially with the approach post show that many people take. You know, initially everyone thinks they're growing a ton of muscle because they're getting stronger each week. Once they hit the week eight to nine mark, when the body weight stabilizes, and you're not really accumulating too much more water or body fat in general, when the rate of gain kind of slows down, that is when the real battle starts and that's when you start seeing the progression take a place where it slows down almost to the point where you start having to fight for it a little bit more and that is generally the point that people take the gas um, take the foot off the gas as well and I believe that is the crucial point where you need to make sure you keep your foot on the gas and not really slow down especially if you want a good solid off season ahead of you um, you have to make sure you kind of keep on point with it so definitely something I feel like is often overlooked. Today, I didn't really want to speak much during the session as I was in the zone. So I think I covered a few bits. But well, this was pretty much my shoulder in the session. Still plenty of uh, chest work, plenty of chest volume, but predominantly start off with delt work. Um, start with lateral work as well before my pressing doesn't really slow me down whatsoever. Uh, it probably, if anything, just reduces the load, load exposure slightly, which is okay at this point as, again, I'm still up for a recovery post-show. It's only been 10 weeks. So I'm not really at a point just yet where I can really start digging in and pushing super hard. Um, so I think it's still a good option to take. Look at that. Still a good option to take, and it's a safer option as well. Especially if, you are using machines and if you are using um, a smith machine that doesn't require any balance if i was using dumbbells or barbell work i would never do an isolation movement prior to it because again your stability just isn't there once you once you pre-fatigue your muscle so definitely do not advise that if you are doing any free weight work around your sessions do not pre-exhaust the muscle, as it can end quite badly. Point. But now, it's time to dig into my post-workout now. Bellissimo. Oh, I think is, 
if he sees it in a second, he'll just get jealous and he'll start crying. <laughs> that is the wrap up for today from me, guys. We will get a few clips of Meg actually cooking the steak, just so you see how we actually do a steak. We actually did a steak on the griddle pan, which is a great investment for you all. Uh, we used to do the chicken on there as well, but we've actually started doing the chicken in this air fryer. So that's been a... The new ninja. Yeah, the new air ninja fryer. air fryer. Oh, Josh has actually got us a, 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 an air fryer as well. A different one. Because we third, wedding gift. So, so that is the third air fryer. One of them is still in the garage. We need to go pick garage. it up. We need to go so pick now it up. we're going to have another one in the garage that's waiting to be used. We need to go pick it up, actually. Just a team of air fryers. So, a great session. Very productive. I felt quite full as well, so very happy with that. And I'm very much looking forward for this off season to begin. As this is pretty much officially uh, going into the second week now of my off season push, and all is going pretty well. So I'm very very happy. Just need to make sure we stay on track and just keep pushing forward. Uh, that is all from me, guys. Get a little glimpse of how to cook steak from Meg now, and then we'll call it the night. So thank you so much, guys. As always, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, whatever you want to see next. And yeah. Peace out. What what steak cut do you get, Meg? Filet. Filet. Filet mignon. Do you want to explain us why the griddle is superior? Basically, we used to use the grill outside, then put getting cold and drop my green beans. You <laughs> can't be bothered to get cold standing outside cooking it, so this does the jobs the same. Get yourself a good old pack because it just tastes nice. What's the go-to seasoning, Meg? Smoked paprika. No. Smoked garlic. And a little bit of roasted garlic and pepper in with a little bit of pepper. Black pepper. <laughs> I don't know if you can put that on there. <laughs> Get the instructions again one last time. <laughs> you have to cook steak. Chop it. Season it. Okay. Done. <laughs> so cook six steak. Now then, now you know how to cook steak. And how simple it is. Get your griddle pad out and start cooking, you lazy bastards. Thank no, you. Cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs>